armor covers your whole body, but provides the most protection to your chest, abdomen, and arms. It reduces overall damage taken, lowers bleeding severity, and provides a chance to completely absorb physical attacks, both melee and ballistic. Melee damage absorption is all or nothing, but ballistic protection will work even if it doesn't fully stop the round. It turns damage that would kill you on the spot into a wound that you can push through and keep fighting. Okay, not every time, but it certainly helps improve your odds. If you find your suit of armor failing, you can get a hold of a new one by killing a former human with a helmet or a chain gunner, then walking up to their corpse and hitting the use key. It's tempting to think that armor doesn't work. Try the same fight without armor when you start thinking like this. There are two types of armor. Green garrison armor is light and lasts a long time, usually longer than you. It can stop pistol rounds and shotgun pellets if they hit the chest zone. And a fresh green vest can stop one or two four mil rounds with some luck. The materials that green armor are made out of are designed to slow the spread of flames across the wearer and make them easier to extinguish when crouched and spinning. It's a good armor kit. It's a balance of speed and protection. Then we have blue battle armor. It has a very strong chance to stop any physical attacks from inflicting damage until it's just about to shatter. That includes stopping 4mm rifle rounds in their tracks. However, its weight inflicts a noticeable speed penalty. Blue armor's level of protection means the armor is destroyed very quickly in the process. And it has no materials designed to slow the spread of flames across the wearer. It is all in physical protection.